Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're looking now just at the calculations for linear burn blend mode. I've taken it out, put in a separate video because I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. So, what exactly is this? So, let's just go to uh, the calculation. The basic calculation is you take the pixel from the base layer, separate out the red, green, and blue, and then for each of those, you're combining with the blend layer, red, green, and blue and adding them and then taking away one. And you look at that going, well, did someone just make that up or does it come from somewhere else? But where it comes from is this, which is one minus this, which is a little bit more complex, but actually it makes sense when you break it down. So you take those one minuses, and when you've got a one minus a value here, you're effectively creating a photographic negative. It's not the same as a mathematical negative, which is inverted, but this is one minus. So it turns it effectively backwards and creates a negative. So you, in other words, you take the positives of the base and blend and you turn them into negatives. And then you add them up. And you've then got two negatives combined, which is another negative. And you want to get back to a positive. So you take it away from one again, which returns you to a positive. And this, when you take away the brackets, you end up with the simpler formula. So as an example of how we do that, here's a base layer with red, green, and blue in that. And blend layer, red, green, and blue there. So reasonable colors in those. So you add those up. And then for each of the reds, you see you just stack those two values, one on top of the other. Same with green, same with blue. But we haven't finished yet. We've got to take away the one. So we get to what looks like this and this is you can see the red and green are now empty they're both zero they are both effectively at, you know no color so you know and before you had quite you know reasonable color in here so it's taken it all away but that minus one really does hammer it so red was part of the way up so minus one would take it to a negative value you can't have negative values so it goes to zero with green it went all the way to one take away one back to zero and the blue, that was way past one. So when you take one away from this, you're going to get to somewhere in between. So the result here is going to be a dark blue. And that's all you're going to get. Let's have a look at this and how it progresses in the different blend modes. So for darken, your base layer here goes from 0 to 1, from black to white. And from the blend mode, the blend, sorry, the blend layer goes from 0 to 1, black to to white and look here that sort of the l-shaped patterns you're getting in here it's mirror image but so it means it's commutative which means you can do it one way and the other way multiply the blend mode multiply you've got more of a curve here so it's, you can see this gradually going up to that so it kind of softens it which is why you get a multiply is is more of a kind of realistic effect often color burn now they get to this quite different so you get this block here, this triangle here of all black. However, you get whites across the top here. And you, as you move up here, you get more of progression and non-linear progression towards this. However, when you go to linear burn, you get very similar triangle here to color burn, but the progression up here is now linear. It's not uh, that non-linear effect. And the only place you get the whites combined to get white is right in that when they're both white so you don't get the white preservation as you got with the color burn so all together they look like this you can see going from an l to a curve to pushing up with some whites there to pushing up with hardly any white there and let's have a look at that in a where will we find this there we go so we've got affinity photo with two layers here we've got the base layer which this is going from black up to white here. And the blend layer here, going from black to white here, from naught to one. So when we put up the blend mode onto that, the darkened blend mode, you get that L-shaped effect. With multiply, you've got that more of a curve or smoothness, but there's more darkness involved. With the color burn, you get that triangle, but you can see at the top there, the whites are preserved. And when we get to linear burn, you get that same effect here where you get again the same triangle. Now those you don't have that white preservation at the top. 
let's see in the color burn there you get the white at the top linear burn the whites here are affected only when you get to here so it's got to be white in both directions to stay white so that's it that is calculations in linear burn and the actual effects thank you very much for watching